the Balsam Spa Veterinary Clinic, we see more than our fair share of bone fractures, broken legs in dogs and cats of all sizes. Fractures can be a result of any kind of serious trauma, such as being hit by a car, falling from a big height, or for small thin bone breeds, even a jump out of an owner's arms can lead to a broken leg. There are several ways to repair a fracture, such as pins and wires, casting, splinting, and external fixators. The choice for repair is made based on many factors, including patient age, patient size, obesity, and severity of fracture, as well as surgeon ability and preference. Here at the Balsam Spa Veterinary Clinic, Dr. Anderson, who has had extensive training in orthopedic surgery, generally prefers bone plating as the preferred method of fracture repair. Bone plating requires a surgeon with advanced training, a good deal of special instrumentation, a well-trained staff, and a very clean, sterile surgical unit. Surgical preparation is very important for a good outcome. Good quality x-rays are necessary for surgical planning. In some cases, Dr. Anderson will use the x-ray of the normal limb to determine plate size and length, and will even pre-contour the plate prior to surgery. During surgery, the bone fragments are accessed and reduced or put back together, then held in place with bone clamps. The pre-contoured plate is held to the bone to check contouring and adjustments are made as needed. The contouring must be perfect for a good outcome. Next, the plate is held to the bone with special forceps and the first screw hole is drilled. Then a depth gauge is used to determine screw length and the self-tapping screw is inserted. This process is repeated until all the screw holes are full. However, holes directly over the fracture side are left open. Then all the screws are checked for tightness, the bone is checked for stability, and the surgical wound is closed in a routine manner. Postoperative x-rays are taken to confirm good screw placement, and the wound is iced and lasered. Dr. Anderson's patients typically start walking on the repaired leg three to five days after surgery. Strict confinement and a cone collar to prevent licking are required for the first two weeks. At two weeks, the sutures and skin staples are removed. Then, gradually increasing leash walks are allowed, but restrictions on stairs, running, and rough play will be in effect for 8 to 12 weeks, which is the length of time it will take for the bone to heal. For quickest return to normal function, we recommend a series of rehabilitation treatments in our underwater treadmill starting at three weeks post-op. For more information about fracture repair or any orthopedic surgery, give Dr. Anderson a call at 885-5650.